feel him. Amen? Amen. Be like the young man said he was flying the kite. Yeah. And they asked him what he was looking for. He said, looking at the kite. I don't see but he felt that tug on the string. You no, know, God was in there. That's where he is with us. We might can't see him, but every now and then, we can feel him. Amen? Yeah. Amen. We give God the praise today. Yeah. Amen. I'm not my own. I belong to Jesus. I'm not my own. I belong to the Lord. I'm not my own, not my own. I belong to Jesus. I'm not my own. I belong to the Lord. He's coming back one day, church, for you and me. He's coming back one day, church, for you and me. He's coming back, coming back for you, you and me. I'm not my own. I belong to the Lord. He shed his blood one day, church, for you and me. He shed his blood one day, church, for you and me. He shed his blood, shed his blood for you, you and me. I'm not my own. I'm not my own. I belong to the Lord. Let's give God some praise. Amen. And we have it this afternoon. We have one of our own. Reverend Stacy Gibson, part of the Ecumenical Church, will come and bring the message in her own way. Let's not sit in judgment, but let's say amen, amen. to the truth. Amen. amen. Reverend Stacy Gibson. Amen. God bless you. Amen. He's a wonder. In my soul, he's a wonder. In my, in my soul, he's a wonder. In my soul, bless his name. Talking about Jesus. He's a wonder in my my soul, oh, he's a wonder in my, in my soul, he's a wonder, thank you, Jesus, in my soul, bless, bless his name, he's a wonder in my soul thank you jesus sing with me he's a wonder in my soul he is a wonder in my soul bless his name sing it with me y'all he's a wonder thank you lord for another week in my soul, he's a wonder. In my soul, he's a wonder. In my soul, bless his name. Can the church say yes? Yes. Yes. Yes, he want to hear your voice. Yes, he wants to hear your voice. Yes, can the church say yes? Yes, 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 Lord. Let us bow our heads. Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for the blood that you shed on Calvary. For you, Lord, we thank you that you give us just another chance. Lord, we thank you for these are they that have gone through much tribulation, but we made it. And Lord, we take it not robbery or for granted. Lord, you said when two or three are gathered in your name, you're in the midst. Mm -hmm. Now, Lord, hide me behind your cross. Let them not see me, 
but let them hear your word. Lord, we thank you that you send a word. Lord, we thank you for your rhema. We thank you for your revelation knowledge. Lord, we thank you for another day's journey. Give us what we need for the upcoming week, Lord God. Give us the victory. We give you all the glory, and we give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. amen. On this evening, I thank God for you and you and you don't take it robbery. Mm-hmm. And I'll be coming from Isaiah 49, 1 through 7, focusing mm-hmm. verses 2 through 4. All right. And it talks a little bit about servitude. How God looks at his servant. Mm -hmm. My topic today, having an attitude of servitude. Mm -hmm. Subtopic, the nature of our calling. When you think of the word servant, what pops into your head? Some pops something positive, something negative. Mm -hmm. But in... The the third verse of chapter 49 of Isaiah, the Amplified Version, states that thou art a servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Mm -hmm. Jesus be glorified. Meaning exalted, lifted up, meaning praised, worshipped. Yeah. On high. Glory. I'm talking about Jesus being glorified. Mm-hmm. The Bible says that no flesh will glory in his presence. Mm-hmm. And we were created to worship him. All right. He's looking for his due. In other words, we're almost like a policy. Well. And one day he's going to cash in on it. He has put an investment in us. So why don't we have a attitude of servitude? Mm -hmm. Again, I'm talking about the nature of our calling. Now, talk about being Christ-like. When Jesus walked the earth, Mm -hmm. he was the epitome of servitude. Not to mention he laid down his life for us. My God, thank God, what a friend we have in Jesus. Some of us think we have friends, but who would yet die for a good man? But Jesus did, and we were not even worthy. Mm -hmm. The nature of our calling. Do you want to be like your father? I'm talking about your spiritual daddy. Mm -hmm. God's word will never fail us. We can always depend on God to lead us in the right direction in any situation. Mm -hmm. Amen. People may lead us in the wrong direction. We may make a wrong decision, but God, Abba Father, will always lead us in the right direction. Why not have an attitude of servitude? Yes, trials, tribulations, these are all a part of being Christ. Like, if you got pride, you can lay that down if you want to stay in this way. Put your faith to the test. Faith in God. Not in yourself, not in your clothes, in your neighborhood, in money. Faith in God. An attitude of servitude. Mm -hmm. (laughs) In other words... Turn your faith for loose. All right. Stop worrying, fretting, trying to do it on your own. Well. It said when I was a child, I thought like a child. But when I became a man or a woman, I put my childish ways aside. All right. All right. The nature of our calling church. Mm-hmm. Let him lead you all the way. Easier said than done, right? Oh, I'm still talking about 
your attitude. My God. He is the one in my soul. And we must bless his name when we feel like it and when you don't. Oh, yeah. It's like a teacher in the classroom taking those notes. Mm -hmm. Will you pass or will you have to do the test again? We need to cast our cares on the Lord. I'm talking about me. For he cares for us. Amen. Earlier I talked about how he died on Calvary mm -hmm. for you and me. For heaven's sake, he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. How many of you would do that? Yeah. Sacrifice your own loins and wasn't even worthy at the time. Still not. Just bought for a price. Mm -hmm. But that's another message. Thank you, Jesus. Casting your cares on him, yes. the Lord, and let him bear them for you. Mm -hmm. All them that are burdened and heavy laden, Hallelujah. he will give them rest. Yes. Many times we carry things. But the Bible says, lay them down on the altar. Right. Don't pick them up again. I'm talking about humility, servitude. Mm -hmm. Oh, it takes humility. It's easy to have pride. You want to carry the load. You want to fix it. Mm -hmm. That's not Christ's way. All right. That's not the Christian way. Be ye transformed. Not conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewing of your mind. Oh, yes. Don't matter how long you've been in the church. Well. How long has the church been in you? Mm -hmm. All right. It's a song that says, leave it alone. Leave it alone. God can fix it better than you can. All right, leave it alone. We have human nature, but the word says that we have to walk in the spirit. Mm -hmm. You can't do it on your own. Yeah. You can't grow up and mature in Christ-like maturity on your own. An attitude of servitude. Mm -hmm. As servants, we need to be delivered out of some of our past situations we need to go through some changes transformation we need the Lord's help church let us take up the cross and bear it in the name of Jesus no other name Let's take this last week and take time out of opportunity to reflect on some things that happened to you. Just think about it. Well, did we have an attitude of servitude? Did we complain? Did we get scared? Or did we turn to the books, 66 of them, you know? Amen. Or are they still sitting there on the table? The Bible says, after you have suffered a little while, then you shall receive the promise. Hallelujah. There's no way around it. Mm -hmm. You can be in Christ. You cannot be in Christ. Right. You have to suffer. Why not suffer for Christ? Yeah. Why not receive the promise? Why not at the end receive a crown of life of salvation? It said the whole creation groans, travaileth together yeah. for the coming mm -hmm. of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. It says it's like a woman that's pregnant with pains, labor pains. 
The whole creation suffering together. You might as well suffer for a crown of life. Yeah. He died for it that we may be partakers with him. Yeah. But one thing you do have to go through while you going through this um, trials, tribulations as a Christian, you have to stand. And having done all to stand, stand therefore with your loins gird about with truth. That's the word. The breastplate, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, the word of God. Oh yes, we're getting suited up to be a soldier in the army of the Lord. Praise Jesus. You'll see the deliverance that God has in store for you, which brings me to our first point of having a servant's mindset. All right. We have to stand firm in faith. Mm -hmm. Then as we grow, we must be obedient and listen to God. For we can't deliver ourselves. He's our Messiah. He's our Savior. Amen. We need his help. Yes, we do. Some of us are still on milk. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the milk of the word. Well. When it comes to spiritual maturity. But God desire that we can digest meat. It's needful. It's enough coming in and out the doors, seeing each other. That's good. But God wants us to do greater. He wants if someone comes in that needs some real show enough help, will we be able to give them an answer, a helping hand? You have to eat meat of the word to be able to do that. You can't give them your opinion. Well, well. We need God's help, church. Amen. We can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. It's the same as getting an education. In order to get smarter, you have to study. I'm just making it plain layman language. You have to study to show yourself approved. A workman not to be ashamed. Again, I'm talking about <coughs> being a servant. That's all right. As a servant, again, we are to be obedient in to whatever, however we are doing in our service. All right. Obedience is the key <coughs> to every servant mm -hmm. of the Lord. That's what pleases God. Hallelujah. Obedience is better than a sacrifice. Yes, yes. We have to look to God, at God, as our parent, All right. as an authority figure. Mm -hmm. So when God tells you to do something, without hesitation, he's looking at our faith. That's right. You do it. That's why even a little child can lead us mm -hmm. when it comes to the things of God. Right. Their faith, child life, pure in heart, mm -hmm. just obedient, just want to do right. Yeah. It's a song, I just want to be right. All right. Just have a do right spirit. Amen. Yes, take the foolish thing to confine even the wise. Yeah. Still talking about the nature of our calling. Like James, the book of James, James was a disciple. He was a servant of the Lord our God. Right. He speaks of tests and trials. This is part of Christendom. No way, to, no way around it. Tests are what we will endure as a Christian, right. as a servant of God. We will endure it. We will have to stand firm. We would have, we would have to have faith 
and we will have to have the right attitude, right. knowing that we will be delivered <coughs> and will and be willing to change. So we have to be willing to change now. This is how you grow. Learn from your experiences, or sometimes it's going to be hard. Then you have to learn from these experiences. You have to be willing to change. You have to know that God is your deliverer out of your affliction. Sometimes you won't even be able to take up or save yourself. You're going to have to just rest that God is your battle axe. You will have to rest in him. Know that he will fight your battle. Standing still. That's what we face from day to day as a Christian. Some say that we're like sheep being led to the slaughter. Yeah, yeah. Being slaughtered all the day long. I used to read that as a babe in Christ. What? We being led to be slaughtered all the day long? What does that mean? That means you're a servant mm -hmm. of the Most High. A servant is not greater than the master. Even Jesus himself was accused, but he was without fault at every point. He was innocent. No guile in his mouth. He didn't, he could have talked some stuff now, you know. The angels would have come and did whatever Jesus said at his command. But yet he used wisdom. Yeah. Forgive them, Lord, mm -hmm. for they know not what they do. Hallelujah. That's the attitude of a servant. Not eye for an eye. Not tooth for a tooth. This is the word. This is the Bible. Leaning not into your own understanding, yeah. but acknowledging him in all your ways. Mm -hmm. And he will direct your path. I didn't say it wasn't going to be painful. I didn't say it was going to be fair. Yeah. Oh yes, it may, may hurt. Yeah. But the Lord is on your side. Mm -hmm. God is a good God. Yes, he is. We are called to suffering and glory. All right. Meaning, we are called to suffer but we are also called to be glorified in Jesus now. God gets all the glory, but he will exalt us as calling us his saints. If we suffer with him, we will reign with Christ. Not only are some people maliciously punished for doing good, as might be the case of the domestic servant under hard leadership, a hard taskmaster, kind of like the children of Israel with Pharaoh. But any one of us might fall under various afflictions right. while doing good, while walking in humility. It is not an easy call. But if we continue firm and persevere, in the face of unjust sufferings, this is grace. Amen. He gives us grace. This is acceptable to God. This is thankworthy of God, meaning this is what God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. This is, after all, our calling, the model of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was laid down in suffering. Yes, our Messiah, we are to follow in his footsteps, having this attitude of servitude. Lord, as we pray, Lord, thank you for showing us the way. Lord, thank you for helping us to be the servant yes. you called us to be.